taking on the New England Patriots. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before. Oh, his first throw of the game going to be intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation no, no. begins. Throwing too many interceptions. Can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? So after the INT, here's Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. From the 7, it's second and 5. It's a game of 5. Brings up second and 5. At the 7-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. Pass incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now here's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And yeah, the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way... And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McCannon with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now a 7-0 game. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Pats at the line ready to go. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They allow 
operate from the 32-yard line here. Second and three. Now Jones. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong defense. That's something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Here we go, here we go, get set. Throwing Jones. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. A gain of eight there on the play, and that'll make it second down. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. On second down, it's Stevenson. 53 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. But you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Derek Nottie makes the tackle. You talk about this Chiefs defense. They find themselves just a couple of spots outside of the top 10 defending the pass, number 12 in the league. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And those add up into big mistakes. Big mistakes add up into points against you. And Parker's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this up to the 45-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Stevenson now on first and 10. Down the right sideline. The way in. Touchdown. No good. Stevenson, 55 yards, and the Pats have cut it back within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? But listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant... That thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 out the game. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. 
So for this offense, Charles, remember, drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in the touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he's blocked down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Now Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Chiefs 14, Patriots 7. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Handoff, it's McKinnon. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 27. They run once more with McKinnon. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. A quick throw caught by Rice. Only a yard on the completion. It's second and goal. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And the ball situated at the nine. Second and goal. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Gardner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They were just trying to get their offense a little more room down near their own goal line, but this is just going to make things worse. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Just shy of the 30. 138 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in his first half. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure on that because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. 
Now Jones on first down. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that will bring up second down. Here we go. 11, 11. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he will have the Patriots first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. The Patriots had six and seven, a game under 500 on the year. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent gain and first down. Simply put, You've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Here's Jones, throwing on first down, and the Chiefs are going to get him. Michael Dana, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that, that's what's going to go around the league, and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it. And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just... Oh, Jones has just thrown his third interception. Mike Edwards picks it off. And the Chiefs will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake, after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain go, amounts go. to charity for each interception that he threw. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Second and 10. Hey, 43, 43, 15. Where's that? Now Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. incompletions and that has him staring at a third and ten 
this time they stay on the ground. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Mahomes now on first down, buying time to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. 43, 43. To throw, it's Mahomes. Takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both brothers doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. First down, Mahomes. And that one caught by Rice. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Butker's kick here is good, but now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. half in the books you're watching the nfl on ea sports and we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside charles davis i'm brandon gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter Ten-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. And we see James, he will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Yellow. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Finally, hard down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. 
On third down, it's Pacheco. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. It's a pickup of six, but it's not going to be enough. And the punt team's going to be summoned on fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And the Patriots take over. Omaha, the Pats at the line ready to go. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and a yard. Up the middle. Here's Hallian. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see how spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards the pickup. First down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already, and it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Off the bootleg, Jones sliding out of the pocket. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Running left is Stevenson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Big stop from a guy who can bring a big hit, Nick Bolton. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out of that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Eighth play of the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones flushed out right. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. On now the rookie fourth-round pick, Chad Ryland, for the Patriot field goal. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they're back with it a touchdown. It's 17-10. to so three points, maybe not a grand prize at this stage, but it does get them back within one score. It certainly does because now they stay within shouting distance, so that means everyone on your sideline stays engaged in this game. They know they still have a shot. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. 
Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he's able to get up here to the 26. And quickly, they get to the line. Here's Pacheco on the lead option. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They go play fake. Mahomes. Here as he's taken down. Keon Wright in there to drop him, and that will go in the books. He's the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Offense on third down today. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and forever. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up being complete. Critical play in this football game. Because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has been a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and ten. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 164 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better really as the night's gone on. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run once more with Stevenson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. Inside gives to Elliott. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. They'll come up facing third and five. 21, 21, 21. Operating from the gun, Jones. Short pass caught by Henry. And he will have the Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, with his size, you've really got to wrap up because arm tackles, they're not going to cut it. And that time, he used his full grown man strength to fight off his defender and pick up the first down. The first down carried by Elliott. 
And a short gain here down to the 22. Nick Morton there on the tackle. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here we go, 11, 11. Great time. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On third down is Stevenson, and he is going to lose yardage here. And a loss of three to bring up four. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So on is the kicker, Chad Ryland, in a big spot. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. And his kick is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now at 17-13. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. This is really impressive because when the offenses are running RPOs, things move very quickly. Fake, balls out of his hands, and they're trying to hit him in the gaps downfield, and instead... The defender reacts so well that he makes a play on it, and the ball falls incomplete. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. third down and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Back to throw. Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A game of 19 yards. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Mahomes going to throw it here. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a game of three. First down, Chiefs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Second and ten. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And it's 
straight. It's Pacheco. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And it's taken in at the nine. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. shot they'll look to throw he's gonna let it fly and it's incomplete so their final drive comes up empty and with that the ball game is over they put up their goal at the beginning of the season and that was to win seven games and now they've accomplished that mission and congratulations to them for achieving their goal they have to finish the season strong but you've got to think that going forward for next year they're going to jump that number up a little bit higher. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Foxborough.